Wow, this has been an incredibly powerful meeting. Thank you, Joe, Ariana, and the Patient Safety Movement Foundation for this commitment opportunity. My name is David Scott. I'm the immediate past president of the Australian and New Zealand College of Anaesthetists. We call ourselves ANSCA. On behalf of ANSCA and its Faculty of Pain Medicine, I would like to formally announce ANSCA joining the Patient Safety Movement Foundation as a partner. In May of 2018, I had the pleasure of signing our joint memorandum of understanding in my capacity as then president of the college with the foundation's board member, Dr. Michael Ramsey, at our annual scientific meeting in Sydney, Australia. And you're welcome to come to Australia at any time. ANSCA is the education training specialist accreditation and standard setting body for anaesthesia and pain medicine in the whole of Australia and New Zealand. As the peak binational body, with over 6,500 members and 1,500 trainees, approximately 95% of specialist anaesthetists, anesthesiologists, and pain medicine physicians are fellows of our college. Our mission is to serve the community by fostering safety and high quality patient care in anaesthesia, perioperative medicine, and pain medicine. From this mission flows three major objectives. To promote professional standards and patient safety, to promote education, and to advance the science and practice of anaesthesia, perioperative medicine, and pain management. Sounds familiar? These objectives align well with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation and its goal to reduce avoidable patient deaths in hospitals to zero by 2020. However, the role of an academic and standard setting organisation such as ANSCA, or the American or um, European Societies of Anesthesiology are different from that of the majority of the Foundation's partners in industry or healthcare. ANSCA, however, has a powerful influence on the practice of safe perioperative care. We work through the standards we set for our practitioners and the hospitals in which they work. ANSCA is not an employer, nor does it have direct governance over these institutions. We do, however, work in concert with regulatory authorities in Australia and New Zealand. A number of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation's actionable patient safety solutions are well suited to being promoted by ANSCA for consideration and implementation by our healthcare organisation and individual practitioners, especially where they align with our own well-developed published professional standards. Our role is to advocate, educate and support such implementation. In addition, ANSCA is enthusiastic about actively contributing to the Patient Safety Movement Foundation's apps development. We are already involved, as you may be well aware, with the upcoming perioperative delirium apps and advising on others, such as the, import the importance of a deteriorating patient and opioid-induced respiratory depression. The Patient Safety Movement Foundation has a unique and demonstrated capacity for global outreach. ANSCA welcomes this partnership, which recognises our joint commitment to safety and quality in our specialty and improving patient safety. Initiatives such as this are vitally important for patients, hospitals, and the specialties of anaesthesia and pain medicine. Thank you. <laughs>